getting ready to fire up the torch for one of my copper picks. It's about this size where I did a stake cut out in here. But before I do that, I wanted to finish showing you guys that it does take a human touch. <laughs> this is hard to program, and I know that because I have a programmer in my uh, family. <laughs> I homeschooled my daughter that has the engineering degree, and part of her homeschooling, she also did participate in the public school as I am a former teacher, but she, uh, part of her homeschooling was to take apart, I'd make her take apart computers and laptops and put them back together. <laughs> Isn't that fun? I mean, who doesn't want to do that, right? <laughs> so we have lots of uh, soldering irons to fix different components and we have a lot of equipment for that. Yesterday I used the electrical tape, by the way, to uh, tape up my foot. That is a tip for you. I had featured my uh, fire making things and camping things, but my rock that I had cut my foot on and that stops the bleeding by the way, because that's really what needed, needed to occur to finish this. But here we go with this wrap. If you want to take a look, I'm using, once again, my wonderful round nose pliers. Uh, I attach this crystal a certain way, at, and then I do that after I have forged this filigree into a wrap that fits perfectly around it. But it doesn't always stay straight. So sometimes I have to manipulate with my hands back here open up and close just right without crushing or breaking the crystal. As you know, they, they can be broken if you're not careful. Uh, once I have them wrapped, they are very secure. So I've got it straight again. I basically put that through and then I just commence to wrapping and I get the wrap as close as I can and then I end and secure. I wanted to show you the other because I don't want to keep you right here. I'm going to secure this end, but here's what it looks like. And yes, there's a little bit of free movement back and forth, but not anything sideways as I form and shape that perfectly around it. But isn't it stunning? And the bale, of course, is much smaller than the one that I forge for the pendant which I'm going to secure and put my finger on. Take care, guys. Good talking to you again and have a nice day.